Putin's operation left German Chancellor Scholz in a stupid position. The spread of talks among the German military about possible strikes on the Crimean bridgehead has undermined German Chancellor Olaf Scholz's position and highlighted the superiority of Russian President Vladimir Putin. This was written by Matthew Karnichnig, a commentator for the political publication. After all these years as the leader of Russia, Putin is still an intelligence officer. There is no great joy in beating Russia's rivals. Putin's masterful operation left Scholz in a stupid position, said Karnitschnig. Fears are rising among intelligence experts that the German military leaks are just the tip of the iceberg as they warn that NATO secrets may have been compromised. The leak could have been just the tip of the iceberg, August Hanning, Berlin's former intelligence chief, told German tabloid Bild. The intelligence expert added that he assumes the Russians could have listened in on even more than 38-minute conversations between high-ranking German military officers. Even more than the 38-minute conversation between high-ranking German military officers. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz was being used by Russia as a useful idiot after the country has identified Germany as the weakest link, according to sources quoted by The Telegraph. The German government vehemently rejected allegations that Russia's leak of a conversation by high-ranking German military officers was an indication that Berlin was preparing for war against Russia. At the same time, the government sought to contain the domestic fallout from the leak and promised a quick investigation into how a conversation by top German military personnel could be intercepted and published. It is absolutely clear that such claims that this conversation would prove that Germany is preparing a war against Russia, that this is absurdly infamous Russian propaganda, a spokesman for Scholz told reporters in Berlin. U.S. border a bigger priority than Ukraine. Republican leader, Congress will not pass a new aid package for Ukraine without reforms to U.S. immigration policy, House Speaker Mike Johnson has said, arguing that America's own security takes priority over Kiev's conflict with Russia. Speaking after a contentious meeting with President Joe Biden and congressional leaders, Johnson insisted that House Republicans would not budge on the foreign aid if Democrats did not compromise on the border. GOP lawmakers are actively pursuing and investigating all the various options for the Ukraine legislation, but the first priority of the country is our border and making sure it's secure, Johnson told reporters. The Republican speaker has faced increased pressure from congressional Democrats, the White House and even fellow GOP members in the Senate over the aid bill, with President Joe Biden warning that the consequences of inaction every day in Ukraine are dire. Ahead of his meeting with Johnson, Democratic Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, who attended the sit-down with Biden, also said he urged Johnson to get it done and do the right thing, adding that history is looking over your shoulder. He described the discussion around the Ukraine bill as intense, stating everyone in that room was telling Speaker Johnson how vital the military assistance was. While the Senate previously passed a $95 billion aid package, including $60 billion for Kiev in addition to funding for Israel and Taiwan, House Republicans have refused to back companion legislation unless it includes significant reforms at the U.S.-Mexico border. Pentagon warns Russian drones may fly to Europe. Russia could have stripped Ukraine of its independence in 2022 and sent drones from its territory to Europe. Assistance to Kyiv from the United States thwarted this, according to Celeste Volander, Deputy Secretary of Defense for International Security Affairs. Volander said that those UAVs that the Russians are sending from Crimea over Ukrainian cities could have attacked European capitals. The cruise missiles that the Russians use against Ukraine's critically important energy infrastructure would have threatened US allies in NATO. According to her, Americans in Europe, from military personnel, businessmen and ordinary citizens to American students studying in Europe, would have been in danger. All of this was prevented by American support for Ukraine and, above all, the courage and skills of the Ukrainians, Volander emphasized. And the threat to Europe is still relevant in light of delays in the US Congress vote on aid to Ukraine, Volander said.
Volanda said that Ukrainians have learned to fight and are holding back the Russians, disrupting their operations in the Black Sea and have resumed grain exports, providing the Global South with what it needs. But since there's not enough ammunition, air defense systems, spare parts needed on the front lines, it could very well return to the scenario of 2022 and the threat of shelling Europe. She reported that the United States ranks 16th in the world in terms of the ratio of GDP to aid provided to Ukraine.